yours truly, Daigle here, on another episode of Mad About Baking. I know you're all probably thinking, where's your kitchen gone, Day? It's gone in for a bit of renovation. But this time, it's just going to be a short, sweet baking video for Ghouls in a Rush. We've got Halloween on the way for all you horror Halloween lovers out there. You just want to chat out with your friends, but you want to make something sweet, but you've got so much stuff to do. So I thought, why not grab yourself a packet mix, pre-made spread, whack this thing together and I'll show you some cool little ideas to throw on top. So let's give it a whirl. You can get this any like in any kind of superstore like Sainsbury's Tesco's or you can get something similar in any of your stores wherever you're from but I particularly like in the UK the big Betty Crocker range just because they're really fudgy cakes and her frosting is really nice and sweet as well. All you literally gotta do is get your milk, egg and flour or egg replacement and shove it all in the bowl and off your uncle. All we're gonna need for this is your egg so I'm using flaxseed egg uh, for my um, egg replacement which you can find online it's pretty easy to do or you would just add three medium normal eggs and then I like to add in oat milk, my oil and then obviously the flour we're mixed with like the red food colouring powder and cocoa already pre-made for you which is amazing especially if you're like I said in a rush mix it all together now it's all nicely mixed in you just want to get your parchment paper and your tin I'm going to turn it into a loaf cake but like I said you can use it as like a standard kind of cake as well just pour that in now you've got your cake mixture in the tin you just want to pop it in the oven for around about 20 minutes and then once it's gone the 20 minute mark just get it out get a sharp knife stick it in the middle and just see if there's any wetness on the knife if there is then just put it back for about five minutes and then once it's properly baked leave it on the side for around about 10 minutes and then we can get decorating so while we're waiting for the cake to just cool down i thought we could make some edible fake blood it's nice and quick and easy to do so first of all you just want to get one tablespoon of corn flour just pop that in your pan this is off the heat at the moment and then you just want to mix in, you can either get cherry juice or cranberry juice, whatever kind of flavour you want for the syrup. Um, I chose cranberry just because I like the taste and you just want 45 ml of that. And then you just want to mix that in slowly so that it mixes well with the uh, corn flour. And then once you've got all the, oh, try not to spill it <laughs> like I just did, but yeah. Um, once it's all combined it well, just pop it on the heat. I'd say put it on a medium heat and just let that heat up for a bit. And it'll start going a bit like this kind of gloopy texture and then you just literally want to go and add your glucose syrup. So around about 250 grams. So if you get one of these little tubes, you get them either in Sainsbury's or Tesco's and they're about 140 grams worth of the glucose syrup. Or syrup like the liquid so I just use a tube and a half so literally just pour that all in there once you've taken the sealant off dirty ball might want to do that first once you've taken the sealant off add your 250 grams worth of glucose syrup this will just give it that shiny blood looking kind of coat when you splash it on the cake it looks really cool um so yeah just squeeze that bubble in there on the heat it's a broth of about 250 and you just want to go ahead and mix it. The cranberry juice and the um, corn flour will mix in with the glucose syrup. And then once you've given that a good old mix, you just want to add your food colouring. So I'm just going to add red, but you can obviously add in red, uh, more red, and then like a drop of blue and a drop of yellow to give it that more like realistic blood colour. But I just want to go with like the cartoony red. We're just going to wait for the fake blood to cool down before we can make our cake look like a killing spree. So before then, I will show you how to make these cool little roll icing. Nice for you slasher fans out there. So you want to get yourself some white icing and black icing. And you can either mix the black and the white to make it like a grey looking knife, or you can just do it plain white, like the cartoony kind of knives. And I will say, I am no perfectionist. <laughs> I just love giving it a go so I will just quickly show you how to do your knife first just want to flatten it out give it a good shape and just cut that off. 
like so. Keep it nice and pointy. And then you've got your little black handle which I've made there. You can see that with the little dots. And then you just want to put that on the end. And then once, like I said, the fake blood that you created has cooled down, you can just slap a little bit on, make it all bloody, like so. Here's my two little stab knives. Okay, now we've got the little knives on our red velvet cake. It's time to give it a bloody makeover. And literally just slap it all on. And so you're happy with it basically. So now we finish making our bloody Valentine red velvet cake. You can slice it up for your lover, your friend, or just yourself and shove a little horror movie on in the background and wear a mask. Why not? I hope you've enjoyed cooking with me, creeps. Please like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell for anything mad about horror. And also, please comment down below if you make this or get another quick cake mix and make something horror. Tag us, take pictures, we would absolutely love to see. Anyway, nice seeing you all, creeps. Happy Halloween!